Okay, so I'm here at a booth called Head Amane, which sounds like Edamane, and apparently that's actually the lore behind the name of it. The headphone I have here is this 3D printed headphone over here. And it's pretty interesting because you can see it's, like I said, fully 3D printed. It's made by one of the guys who did Capra, and it's a collaboration between another guy. Yeah, you got the Capra strap up here, so it is very comfortable on my head. It's all plastic, so it's also very light. However, there's definitely that, you know, 3D printed kind of feel to it. This is not the final version. I believe they're on Kickstarter for like 320, 370, depending on which pricing you get in. So they'll do a few more adjustments and I gave them a little bit of feedback because I find that the top part presses in a bit more than the bottom. And so I also have a smaller head. So I think they're going to try and make the headband just a little bit wider to accommodate a slightly larger head. But it's pretty good uh, articulation all around for the fit and feel. So yeah, no, com no complaints of the comfort whatsoever. The pads are deep and plush. Now, what's interesting about them is that they use glass drivers in here. I don't know if you can see, and I can see around the wording, it says, please don't tap on it. I'm gonna tap on it. But yeah, they use these sort of glass drivers that are apparently coming into vogue because a few different headphones seem to be using these glass drivers and they're, they're just coming out. These guys are one of the first to do it. Now, what's interesting about these headphones, and the thing that always trips me up is that the cables come out the front, not the back. So right side actually is this side. and the, the pads are a little tilted, so you know you can't really get that messed up. Okay, so in terms of sound then, the easiest way I can describe this is that this is anti-hi-fi man, okay? So this headphone is, it's an open back headphone, but I would actually call it um, hypervented because you can see it doesn't have straight openings out the back, instead it kind of radiates out the sides. And I actually do get that feeling when I wear this headphone. It definitely feels a little bit close and a little more intimate, but there is enough soundstage on certain notes where horizontally it kind of spreads out left and right pretty far out depending on how the recording is done because you do get some of those vents to allow some of those notes to be spread out, right? You get some of the diffusion of those notes. But it is definitely more, like I said, more of an in-between between a close back and an open back. And in terms of sound, it's definitely a fairly bassy headphone. Uh, it's, I would say like focal hardenies or even a little bit more in terms of bass. And the treble is definitely toned down as well. So. You don't get that super sharp incisive transients like you might with a hi-fi man. It's definitely more um, relaxed, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily dark either. It's just warmer, more bodied in the lower mids bass region. And of course, being an open back, you don't get that deep sub bass rumble, but you do get quite a bit of bass presence. The mid range is definitely a little bit more warmer, a little more bodied, a little more huskier than what you might get from like a HD 600, for example. It's I think it's like HD 650, but even even warmer in a sense, but I also wouldn't call it like super veiled necessarily. So yeah, pretty cool headphone, check them out.